on everyone so today we are bringing all the stills out to run uh kelsey's 441 the 660 and still 045 uh, i'm trying this one out the guy i got the 266 from uh sent it to me to try out and possibly do some trading on it and see how it runs i did some tuning on it it would barely even run so i adjusted the carburetor and stuff but we're gonna fall a tree with it and see how it does it's got the round chain on it i don't know what you call it but it's not the chisel chain i guess round chain but they don't cut the fastest but they do cut it's kind of a more of a homeowner style chain but anyway get some firewood cut cut we just brought the little trucks out the ford is still down uh hopefully if all goes well maybe get it fixed uh by the end of next week it's going to be a process actually uh one of my buddies is a really good mechanic i might do some trading with him on uh, fixing the ford that way i mean i can mechanic and stuff but stuff like timing chain and stuff like that i uh i'd rather have someone who builds cars he builds some awesome hot rods but uh have him go through it that way it's done right and it'll be my luck i'll forget one little thing and uh <laughs> we'll get out here with the little wood on and it'll something will mess up but anyway we're gonna get them fueled up and we'll uh get on the stump <laughs> Uh-uh. <laughs> 
45 I don't know it's a carb I had it tuned at the house but we come up in elevation had it tuned go to start cutting a, or falling that tree threw it on its side and it just started acting funky so I just said heck with it grab the 441 I just don't know I'd love to have that saw but I'm not gonna We'll see. I might get it, I might not.
we'll say the guy wanted me to it's actually his friend saw so the guy I got the 266 from this saw this still is one of his buddies and uh he was wanting to do some trading but i don't know i just we'll see how much he wants for it if it's too much i don't need that saw in my fleet if it ain't gonna run yeah i could go get another carb it'd be a badass saw to have but not at the moment Yeah. Go that high all the way back. Dang, I should have, uh, I forgot you had airbags on there. Oh, yeah. Remind me tonight, I'll put some air in them. That was probably what the other thing I was supposed to remind you about. I spaced it. I was going to do it last night and I spaced it. Yeah, I think you told me to remind you last night for that, too. It's been a long time since we've taken the little truck out. This yeah. one, anyway. Well, we loaded up both trucks. Now we're gonna head for home, get the kids from school. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you haven't, go check out our recent camping trip. We went for our three year anniversary camping trip this weekend and then we'll be going back up for Father's Day. So there'll be another, camp, yeah. more camping videos coming out and some other probably different things that we do over the weekend yeah, i know you guys yeah. have your archery shoot saturday yeah i don't know if we'll video that so it's through the tribe we have to take archery test every year uh to apply for archery tags which is very good uh it weeds out the people who don't even own bows um let alone know how to shoot them uh years prior they never had the test had a lot of wounded elk and a lot of gunshots during archery season uh it's pretty sad but it still happens today. Um, we've been in on herds of elk and some big bulls and guns started going off. Um, never did see the people, but uh, yeah, it's pretty sickening. Um, a lot of cut out back straps this year too. That was pretty. This last year was terrible. terrible. Uh, in this area, we had a bad, bad case of people just cutting back straps out of deer, even elk. Cutting heads, cutting back straps, and that's it. And that's bullshit. Uh, I hope I do catch someone like that. Um, yeah, if you are one of them people and you poach like that, uh, <laughs> you shouldn't even be out in the woods. Um, you owe it to the animal to use every part you can. That's what we teach our kids. And, uh, hopefully, you know, we, 
try and preach that to other people around the area but you know there's always a few bad seeds in everyone's town so yeah hopefully that gets straightened out this year so anyway thank you guys for watching we wish you good health and happiness and stay tuned for another firewood video before the end of the week and then camping this weekend yep